Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to another tutorial in FX. So I'm using Maya 2019 and up here at the top, uh, just make sure that you are in FX. All right, so last time we've gone over end cloth and we also did a little bit of end particles. So I wanted to show you a little bit about what's called fluids. Fluids is actually really fun. Um, it gives you some really interesting effects. So let's check that out. So the first one I want to demonstrate is 2D container. So if I activate it, uh, not much, not much is going on here, but if I rewind and play, and again, I'm going to give myself a little bit more time here. If I rewind and play, you're going to get this cool little smoky effect, and it's in a 2D plane, which is fun. And over here to the right in our attribute editors, we are looking at a fluid shape. And it also, and if you look to the left in your outliner, we have the fluid shape and the fluid emitter. So again, if you don't see any of these, just go ahead and go to display shapes and it will activate all, all the things that you need to see. So what's fun about the fluids is that A, it gives you a really cool smoky feel, but uh, if you want to increase the resolution here, let's go ahead and uh, increase it to, let's say 80. So that means that it's going to be 80 by 80 when it comes to this resolution. And I press play and now the quality of the smoke is going to be significantly nicer. Notice the pixel range. Notice that it's still a little bit noisy, but we're starting to get some really nice effects that we didn't see before. Pretty, look how nice that is. Let me rewind and I'm gonna crank this up. The more you increase the values, the more you are going to slow down your computer, but the prettier it's gonna be. So welcome to the world of uh, effects and actually anything in computer graphics is that you are gonna sacrifice time with quality. So you have to pick which one you want. You want lesser quality but faster or do you want beautiful but slower? Okay, so resolution, our resolution is 10 by 10 by by 2.5, 0.25, sorry. You may be tempted to actually scale this. You really want to avoid that. You really want, the, what you really need to do is increase it based on this resolution. So for example, if I want it to be a little bit longer, I can increase the Y. So then I can rewind and press play and it's not going to be stretch or anything. It's gonna do the dynamics based on this information. Voxels means um, it's a little, it's almost like pixels. So uh, it's, it's what's calculating the dynamics. So try not to scale, it's gonna just stretch it out. Make sure you use X, Y, and Z size. Boundaries is, is the boundaries of this container. So right now, for example, we have a boundary of Y on both sides. If I tell it to say uh, none, um, and then I'm gonna rewind a play so you guys can see the effect, you'll notice that it'll just keep going on forever and you'll never see it again. So that's something that uh, it will end right here, but the dynamics is gonna continue on. However, um, what's cool about boundary boundaries is that it does have something called wrapping. So if I rewind and pray, play, not pray, play, wrapping, it will start, it will just continue to wrap and then it interacts with each other. And then you get these really cool effects. So that's something that you might want to play around with. Other fun things that you can play around with is uh, display. Right now the display is as render, so uh, just keep that in mind. But if we keep scrolling down, you're gonna see something that's called um, um, numeric display. So if I choose density, for example, we now have a crazy number. And if I press play, you're gonna see all of these little particles are being emitted and all of them are emitting a little number. These are all particles. Whee! So that's kind of like an interesting matrix num numerical effect. If we wanted to see, uh, let's see, numeric display of temperature and fuel, we're not really gonna get any of that because we don't have any type of fuel. Um, again, that's a little bit more advanced, so we're not really gonna go into fuel, but just keep that in mind. Another thing you wanna go is our particles. If you press a number four in wireframe, you can rewind and play, and you can see the particles being created. That's where wireframe display means. So right now, we're seeing all the particles that it's being emitted. So it's much more than the particles under end particles. This is actually like a ton of particles uh, that's creating this type of smoky feel. Uh, however, if you want to see the cool effect, you go to rectangles, rewind and press play, and it will show you the, like basically the the mass of the car, uh, based on, of the particles based on square. So the smaller the square, the less the uh, the thinner the smoke is, and the thicker it is, the bigger the square. So it's again, it's a visual display to see what's going on. And it's also very artistic, so it's kind of fun. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Oh, actually, let me keep it at particles, and then just go back to the number five. Um, let's see what else I wanted to show you guys. There is something called shading, and shading is fun. I can go to the color and change the color, 
but um, it doesn't really have that much of a of an effect. You can mess around with this as well. I'm going to press stop. Really what you want to go is into the fluid emitter. The fluid emitter has also called a fluid color. And when you click on this emit fluid color, you can tell it to set dynamic. And then I can change the color here to a blue. So then I'm going to rewind and play. And the fluid is now going to be a color. And it's a little bit more uh, realistic. However, that's not really that much fun. I'm going to move the emitter. So select it from the outliner, move it down. And what I can do is grab this uh, container and under fluids, I can add, edit, and emitter. Boop. Then I move this to the right. So now what you're going to see is that my fluid has two emitters. Then I'm going to press play and now they're going to interact with each other, which is actually pretty interesting. So as you can see, they start reacting with each other and then they start mixing together. So that's no fun with just white. Let's go ahead and click on emit fluid by color and then we'll change it to, I don't know, pink. Now we get to watch the magic happen. And then Aladdin's theme song comes into my head because this reminds me of the Aladdin introduction. So this is a, a quick tutorial on fluid dynamics. It's a lot of fun. Oh, one last thing I actually wanted to show you. Um, it's getting a little crazy. So I'm going to go back to my emitter and I'm going to go back to, to the box and just say both sides. So they mix and, ma and uh, match together. So now they're going to blend. It's kind of fun. But you can actually get objects to uh, react to it. So let's say, for example, I'm going to take this little torus here, make sure it's intersecting. And under N particles, let's see, oops, sorry, it's a fluid. Um, let's say make collide. And it's going to tell me, well, you actually need to select a fluid. So don't forget to select a fluid. And fluids make collide. So now that I have that, let's rewind and press play. And now the objects are actually going to interact with this. Or the fluid is going to interact with it, which is pretty interesting. What's fun, though, is that, of course, you can animate this. So let's go ahead and do a keyframe. We'll let this uh, run for a second. We'll press an S here. I'm going to move it across. Let's see what type of reaction we get. So we're going to let the smoke kind of mingle a little bit for about 120 frames. And then you can see the effect. That was kind of like a lame effect. So let me uh, rewind that again. And let me make it a little bigger so we can see the reaction a little bit more. And let me rewind this. Maybe make it go faster. Okay, let's see what we get. Rewind, play. The dynamics are going to mix together. Boy, that's lame. Okay, and only that the scale got changed. So let me right click. Break connection here. And let me change the scale again. Um, and I do want them to maybe start a little bit higher. So S, oops, sorry, I'm undoing here. Uh, Shift W will keyframe just translate. And I want that same value here. So we are in, let's see, 8.877. So I'm gonna do the same thing, or maybe I can just make it go across. Ah, actually, let's, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens now. Watching it mingle, and there we go. So we get a really interesting effect. And just because, I'm gonna make it do something interesting. I'm gonna make it intersect here. And then it's gonna move up. Let's see. Whee. So there you go. You get some really interesting uh, effects with some passive um, with this collider and also with the 2D container. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the fluid container. Again, have some fun. 
It's uh, you can use this to render out smokes like cigarettes, something at a distance, anything that's really doesn't have any depth to it that it's kind of small. So you don't want to use the the next tutorial is going to be the 3D container. Um, that's going to take a lot more memory and a lot. Uh, it takes a lot more computer power. But uh, with this effect, though, if it's something that you want to do from the background or something that's very small, then this is a perfect way to do dynamics uh, using the 2D container. So thank you for listening. I really appreciate your support. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Please like and share if you find this helpful and if you want to see more. Um, don't forget to check a look at academicphoenixplus.com, my website, and say hello. Sign up for my newsletter to get some updates and some, um, some of what's going on with the channel and, uh, and just me in general. So uh, thanks again. This is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and I will see you next time.